Audio Jungle. I'm here to show you how easy it is to utilize augmented reality in your classroom to your students Audio Jungle. and to make it meaningful and differentiate that instruction truly. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my smartphone. Audio you can Jungle. use any device, tablet, Apple, Android, whatever your choice is. And the first thing we're going to do is we'll see the ST come up and there we'll have four buttons. And in those four buttons that we do see, we have our parent information button, which allows parents to gain access to information on trends in education, tips to help their children study, different tools that the parent would need to make a successful student. We have our quiz button, and our quiz button is interactive flashcards on key terms and concepts that we would see on standardized tests. We also have the About Us, and that will tell you who we are and what we're about. But let's get to the fun, let's get to the adventure, and let's start engaging our students. I hit the Start Lesson button, I see a list of buttons pop up. Let's go for our first true fun experience. And with that, we're gonna go for our 360 virtual environment on our Grand Canyon picture. We're gonna take our smart device and you'll see that the camera opens up and scans the image very quickly. But now with that, we can see the sun. We can look straight down and see the rocks. But we're also able to move around and see the entire landscape as if we're there. Not only can we do an entire writing piece to that, not only can we grab information to talk about how the Grand Canyon was formed and have them actually see the different rock formations that are there and how a glacier came through and caused this giant opening. But what if we wanted to compare it to different environments? So we saw the Grand Canyon. Let's take a look at another picture. And we want to show a beach with ocean. Now we didn't see any water there, so now we're taking them to another environment in which we're taking them to another environment in which we can just scan that image. And once again, we are back in that environment Audio jungle. showing them what it looks like. We talked about three dimensional learning and bringing those objects to Audio life. Jungle. Well, what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to tap on the three-dimensional audio jungle, and we're going to see different buttons popping up. Now, this is categorized and understandable for students to have an idea of what that image is going to do. Let's go on a little adventure. We're going to go right to space, and we want to give an understanding of the Earth. I'm going to take a regular picture that we would find in a textbook that just says the earth and shows the picture of the earth. But I want students to really see what that earth looks like and be able to compare it. So once again, I'm going to hit my space button and now I'm going to scan my image and immediately I have a three-dimensional object that I can manipulate and I can turn to see the different parts of the earth and get a better understanding of what the earth looks like. All that also provides activity sheets. And on the activity sheet, we see questions that are grade specific and topic specific. At the bottom, you'll see that it is coded and it will show you what strand of the Common Core it is, or a theme topic that you get to choose to be specific to the deficiencies of your child or your student. There's an image there that we were talking about triggering an image to create an experience. 
So if the student goes home and cannot understand what is on this sheet or has difficulties, the student can merely take their smart device, open up the app, The student can merely take their smart device, click on animated lesson. With that, the grade that they choose, now this activity sheet is grade three math. So we're gonna click on the grade three button and through the viewer, we're going to scan our image Hit play. Equivalent fractions. Equal fractions can be represented in many different ways. These fractions have the same value, even though they look different. Take a look at the first circle graph. The cool thing is that we're able to pause it, rewind it, so that if we didn't understand the concept, we can go back and review that in that animated lesson. Let's just do one more. Here's another activity sheet. This is a third grade English, and it's providing reasons and details. Now, the student starts reading, looks at the questions, doesn't truly have a, a good understanding. So what we're going to do is, once again, use the smart device, scan the image, and the animated lesson will appear. We'll hit play. Providing reason and detail. When you write pieces that are informative, explanatory, or state an opinion, it's important to state your topic at the beginning of your piece and use reasons, facts, and deep. That is another way that we can provide assisted learning to students who are struggling or deficient to reinforce the topics that are mandated and required to the school and by that teacher. They will have this either in a worksheet, activity sheet form, a flashcard, or the teacher can give a test and know that that student is struggling in a specific topic and take this picture to a reinforcing sticker and put it at the top of an exam and say, review that lesson again and make it meaningful. We're able to meet the deficiencies straightforward right here and differentiate our instruction all based on activity sheets, flashcards, three-dimensional learning, 360 virtual environments that will not only engage our students but will allow them the opportunity to succeed and meet those rigorous standards that all schools must follow.